Today I got called out by the fake Birkin Slayer. So we're on our way to puppy yoga. Okay, look, this is my first time ever experiencing a mugging. My stomach fell out of my ass. I knew you were reminding me of yeah, someone. Yeah, like Good morning from London. Today I woke up and I think today has been the most traumatic day of my life. No, I'm joking, it's not. Today I got called out by the fake Birkin Slayer, which is hilarious because i honestly i was loving what they were doing although to be honest anyone could call out the fake birkins that they were showing it was very obvious one thing i will not stand for is people calling my shit fake when i've been very open and honest with you guys about using resellers a lot of people are not open and honest about resellers because it it's almost as if it's seen as like it's beneath them to shop with a reseller because you know the Hermes game is so elite. Yeah, cool. The Hermes game is elite. But like, to be honest, I'm not trying to spend money on things I don't want just to get offered a bag I don't want. Been there, done that. Bought a bangle I didn't really want or need to get a bag I didn't really 100% want. But you know what? I still respect people that, you know, hustle for Hermes. I would love, love to be offered an Hermes leather appointment to create the bag I want or be even offered a bag I want. But... I'll be honest, when it comes to money, I would rather just spend my money and get exactly what I want from a trusted reseller. I never promote resellers which are not trusted. I've never actually bought from anyone that's not trusted when it comes to Hermes because if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that previously I had bought a fake Dior bag and that was from like a pre-loved website. It was a Dior saddle bag. However, that's not the first time I've accidentally bought a fake bag. There's been another Dior bag and I've never addressed it, but it's just something I didn't feel the need to address. I have not actively gone out of my way to buy fake bags. It's not something I do. I focus on luxury fashion lifestyle. So for me to be promoting fakes doesn't make really any sense. And I'm not trying to fake it till I make it. I'm very blessed. In the past few years, I've been doing well for myself and I'm so happy to be able to afford the things that I want. So yeah, I mean, call me out, but like, it's kind of cringe because now I'm like, you know what, this is pissing me off because this is slander and defamation at this point. It's kind of, I mean, it is a little bit detrimental to my brand, my personal brand, but also at the same time, people that know me know that I would never do that. The bag is real, it's just a bad angle. The bag is all over my page. I even posted a video because I have the bag right here, right now. It is a real mini Kelly, it's not a fake. It's in rose lipstick and I guess some people just don't understand what chevre leather is. It's not your standard grained leather, it's a very smooth kind of goat skin, but I mean, if you're gonna call yourself a fake Birkin Slayer, at least know how to authenticate shit properly. It's kind of embarrassing. Like everyone else they're posting has very obvious fakes, so cool. But I guess bags look differently when you're the size of a 10 year old. I mean, realistically, I get it. The pictures were, I mean, even Elise said, the pictures don't do the bag justice. They just look really stretched. Maybe it's like the ankle, I don't know. But like, why would I, why would I lie? And then like repost the bag, the exact why same bag. Why do a whole YouTube video on an unboxing? Like, that's embarrassing. Anyways, today we're heading out to Selfridges. I have not been to Selfridges in ages. I'm not the biggest fan of Selfridges anymore. I miss the old Selfridges, I'm not gonna lie, when downstairs they had like that little top shop concession and like a- Oh my god, Do you remember? Yeah. Now that's changed, it's like an entire like sunglasses haul and like, it's just changed so much. Oh god, I almost forgot about that top shop. Thing. Right, top okay, shop, all things. Go. We're actually getting late Yeah, now. we're actually gonna walk down, um, even though it's like an hour and a half away. If not, it's 40 minutes. Why do you make yourself live like family? I have to walk it? across, yeah, okay. Well, I have to walk across Chelsea, Knightsbridge, we're and then walk through. through Chelsea and Knightsbridge. What are you talking about? So we where are we walking? Park, past Buckingham Palace and through Green Park, and then you're literally on Green Park. And then we're taking the train from Green Park. We're not. We're going to continue walking because down Berkeley Square. Exactly. See, so you know where we're going. I know where we're going, but it is a long. <laughs> it's a long. It's, it's really a long journey, and it's quite warm outside. And I'm wearing a jacket because apparently it's going to get colder later. And I'm always cold. Today's bag of choice is this little mini jackie. And this jacket is Elise's courtesy of Zara. Zara just does not make cute shit I anymore. I love Zara. I'm just not really... It's giving... I really like this outfit, actually. Yeah, it's actually very cute. Thank you. Are you sure you want to carry that bag? Oh, yeah. There's, like, nothing in it. Should I vlog? No, I'm not gonna vlog today. No, don't take your camera. I can't be asked. It doesn't fit in the bag, sorry. So I've put all my stuff into a dust bag because everything falls out of it otherwise. It has happened before. 
I will vlog my camera and see you guys in a little bit. Good morning guys. Today we have an exciting day planned. I'm a bit low but I'm going to tell you why in a bit but first we have puppy yoga. That's probably one of the main reasons why I'm low is because I miss my dogs. I miss my children so much when I'm away from them. So today we've decided to go do some therapy. Puppy therapy slash yoga. I love it. They have multiple locations. I will link their details down below. This one is literally five minutes from my house. So I'm so thrilled. I get to get a workout in and play with cute little puppy chow chows. Um, fabulous. Let's go. Okay, so we're on our way to puppy yoga. And where is it? Have you been to the place where it's at? Yeah, it's a boutique like fitness studio called Vita on Sloan Square. Ooh, so it's literally so annoying. five minutes away from us. But we're running a little bit late because of me. So we didn't get time to get a coffee. So we jumped in a black cab and we're just pulling up now. Lisa's mad because she didn't get her morning coffee and also I'm but mad. But have like a bar downstairs with like I organic stuff. I haven't done my nails. I might just get someone to come to the house. I hate going out to do my nails in London. I hate people coming to the house. I also hate that too. I just don't like people coming to my house. Facts. Where can I go do my nails? You can't have any coffee but they don't open until 12. Oh shit and it's Sunday. Oh yeah yesterday was like a big day. But like we had no idea. Like yeah just anywhere here is okay. fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. It's Thank you. You're welcome. So this is where we're at. Okay. They have coffee. <laughs> oh, I think we're going now. We instantly change. This is so cute. There's like a little... Like, I'm just like, doing the past thing. It was just the email. There's about 10 people here. Instant mood change once I get to There's a black one! As you can see, you may or may not know, these lovely dogs are called Chow Chows. And they are 10 people. <laughs> Hello. 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 Except for one. Wait, which one was it? This one. Fine. They are so adorable. And they're all super friendly. There's a mix between girls and boys. Hi. So this is the yoga studio that we came to, and then over here. The so we just got home from puppy yoga. It was the cutest thing. I was supposed to go to Borough Market today, but the weather has decided to not allow it. So we're not going to Borough Market. I still have never been to Borough Market. Bit disappointed. Might potentially be leaving in 48 hours. Might potentially be extending. Not sure. Not sure because of an incident that occurred last night. Oh my God. 
Okay, look, this is my first time ever experiencing a mugging. I did you not get mugged. <laughs> But it shook me up because I've never experienced this in London. I'm always talking about how unsafe London is and I'm always thinking I'm so vigilant and proactive when it comes to like looking at my surroundings and making sure I'm not being followed. However, I stupidly decided last night I wanted to walk down a dark street. Bear in mind this is not a dark alley, it's not a it's just a residential street because I wanted to walk home. I was not enjoying Soho. We went to Soho thinking we're gonna have a great time, but the vibes were off. I don't know what it is. The vibes are so off in London. I don't know if anyone else can relate to that, but like the vibes are just not giving what they should be giving. The vibes are off. We walked into Soho. I was like, I'm not enjoying this. I got a cock waffle, <laughs> which by the way was phenomenal. I would highly recommend going and getting those cock waffles. Wow. I got the milk chocolate with a drizzle of white chocolate. Flawless. Bellissima. However, then we were walking through I was like, no, I'm unfamiliar in these surroundings. I'm not feeling comfortable. I want to leave. There were a lot of people out. Actually, it was unusually quiet for Soho on a Saturday night. Usually it's Everywhere hopping. Like I'm usually seeing people dancing on tables, dancing in windows. It was not giving. London is just so off. No one is out. It's summer. Where is everyone? Anyways, we decided to walk home through Mayfair. Familiar surroundings. <laughs> So we're walking through Mayfair, we walk down Piccadilly, walk to Mayfair, we get to Barclay Square and I decide, oh, let's take this exit and walk towards Green Park. But I'm walking ahead with my friend, we're just like on our phones talking shit. My sister's behind me with my cousin who is 6'3 and he's like towering above all of us. My sister goes, Laylee, come here. And I'm like, oh, for God's sake, what does she want? I turn around and I continue walking. I look up and I see a man walking towards us. And for me, I, I'm not... I'm not like instantly shook thinking this man is gonna rob us. I'm just like, oh, it's just a random man with his hood up walking straight towards us on this quiet, dark road in the night, pitch black. Why was this road not lit? I don't understand. Anyways, walking, she goes, Lily, do you wanna get jumped? And I look up, I, I actually didn't see the man initially, but I look up and he looks menacing as hell. I'm like, <gasps> I think my ass fell out of my body and <laughs> my stomach fell out of my ass. I grabbed my friend. I was like, walk with me this way now. We turn around, we run across the road and we're like, let's hail a cab quickly. We're at the corner of the street where there's Annabelle's and I was like, okay, there's no cabs. We're not getting any cabs here. At least I know if we go to Annabelle's, there will be security outside, the doormen, and we could at least try and hail a cab from Annabelle's. Run to Anna, <laughs> not us running. I mean, I don't know what to do in these situations. Do you run away from the potential harm or do you just like casually walk away? Anyways, I start running because I'm in a panic. I'm like, hell no, I'm not getting stabbed today. Not today. I'm wearing a Goyard bag with nothing in it. I'm not getting stabbed over a Goyard bag, please. Or my phone. They have kids in your girl. Anyways, so we run to Annabelle's and the doorman at Animals is like, is everything all right? And we're like, yeah, we're just trying to get a cab. And he looks to the right and he sees this man who is still following us, but has now taken off his hood. He's following us. And I'm like, Elise hailed the cab. We get in, we're like, no one say the address. Just get in the cab. Usually you tell the, the cab driver the address and then you get into the cab. You're like, he's like, where are you going? And we're like, nope, don't ask questions. Just put us in the back, please, sir. We get in the car and we're like, blah, blah, blah. We're going here. We get into the cab. We're driving away from Annabelle's and this man as soon as we got into the cab the man who was following us is still following us except he's walking past watching us as we get into the cab and like <laughs> me 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 I was just staring out the window I completely forgot there's no tint I look out the window and the man was just staring at us as he's walking I f I don't know if it was the adrenaline but I'm pretty sure I saw a little smirk <laughs> Elise is just not she's not understanding Look, I've my been feelings in this situation so many times like in our area in a good area like this is Mayfair babe no, it's not like, even like no but I'm sorry but you're not smart if you think you're gonna be safer in Mayfair yeah I know so. but I'm just saying you're not safe anywhere I'm just trying to tell you like this is actually no it was 11 p.m. so it was dark the sun goes down around 9, 45, 10. So I was like comfortable, but I've not walked outside in London in a very long time once it's dark. I, this is why I don't come in winter. 
It gets dark at 2 p.m. Why the hell would I be sitting at home at 2 p.m. till sunrise the next day? No. Summertime, I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's gonna be bright out for a long time. No, not loving it anymore. And everyone's like, why don't you come to London anymore? This is the reason. I've never experienced this until now. And now I'm like, I'm kind of done with this shit. But I wanna enjoy my days out in the sun whilst it's still sunny and whilst it's bright. It smells like laundry. It smells damp. Because it is damp. No. We don't know how to do washing. You don't. You don't know how to turn on the washing machine. Sorry. Or turn it off. Okay, Miss Domesticated Queen. You don't even know how to turn on the stove. Yes, I do. This okay, but can you cook? Doesn't matter if you cook or not. Exactly. I can We're pasta. both. <laughs> not good pasta, let's just add that in. We're both good at different I things. I can make pasta, which I actually like, so. Okay, good for you. You're the only one eating it, so. I'm gonna go to, I think, Soho House. Which one? Just chill there. Oh, actually, where is the closest one in this area? Okay, we're home now. We're watching Love Island. Yeah, but you did. We took a forty-five minute walk home. I don't have a tripod. It's a water bottle. We walked forty-five minutes home, and then I realised after five minutes away, we were like, I saw my sister, and my friend walking. So we were like, you know what? We need to beat them home. So we hopped in the cab. <laughs> Did you actually? No! You really did! We did! We no! Did. We were on the opposite side of the road and we saw you guys walking. We we're like, we need to get a cab right now. I feel like, oh! I feel like getting a cab. No, well, but at least they we were the same distance as you. We saw you literally. And I was about to run. I was like, I swear to God, we were running. We were like, I was so mad. I was like, as if. No, but you've got longer legs than us. That's why I said to them, I was like, they're not going to win because of their short legs. It's giving height in another room. Oh my god. Harry, I told you going to get cancer. You know, I had like horning. I was like, that's them coughing. Wimbledon, <laughs> <laughs> he was at the bloody Harbour Club. Half? Harbour Club. Where? Chelsea Harbour. Oh, Chelsea. Oh, oh. Oh. We should go. Does anyone else not understand what they're saying on Love Island? I actually don't. That's why we have subtitles, babe. Subtitles are there. I'm so confused with the bruv, the bro, the mate, the what are you saying? It's giving Luca Bish this though, you know? I knew you were reminding me of yeah, someone. Yeah, you look like Luke, Luke a bitch. Gemma? Gemma? Jemima? Jemima. Jemima, yes. Actually, where do I get a lamp from? Where's cute for lamp? I don't Just know. Just go online. Very dark. No, you know, what's that store that I used to get everything from? <laughs> Catch oh. me in the next YouTube video, guys. Well, you were in the other... Do you remember you were... Did you... Did yeah, you I'm going to add it to my, um, my CV. Because I'm <laughs> a YouTuber <laughs> now. <laughs> Cut. So Good night. I have a Chanel unboxing. This is actually something I unboxed on TikTok. This is a bag I've had on my wish list for a very long time. And when I say very long time, I mean precisely nine to 10 years.